Welcome back to the channel guys. Just want to bring you episode 6 of my Kyler Murray career mode. In this game, it's going to be the Buccaneers taking on the Cleveland Browns. Here we've got good weather for the game. Got some fireworks going off. Nothing but clear skies. Here we have both teams coming out to the field. I decided to wear a throwback jersey for the Buccaneers. It's their uh, throwback black uniforms. I think they look really good with the current pants they've got. Here we've got the stats from last week. Chris Godwin had six catches for 150 yards and a touchdown. He had an awesome game. Here we've got Kyler getting pumped where he came out to the field. All right, first and 10, beginning of the game, we're at the 25 yard line. Completed pass to Mike Evans, a big wide receiver. Second and nine now at the 41 yard line. Completed pass to Deshaun Jackson. Got a man, Humphreys. It's going to be first down, good play. Just trying to spread the ball here, give it to a bunch of different receivers. Give it to ta uh, Howard, my tight end as well. Just trying to really spread the ball, get a touchdown. And we're going to be down at the one yard line. That was a big third and seven. Play action pass. I'm just going to keep it with Kyler and Juke. And it's going to be a touchdown, Kyler Murray. We're going deep. Oh, we got Mike Evans. It's going to be a first down. Complete pass to Godwin. Another first down. Play action pass. Godwin again on a slant. It's going to be another first down. Got Howard. It's going to be down at the one. Play action pass. Got Mike Evans. And it's going to be a touchdown. It's going to put us up 14 to 7. Second quarter now, we're at the 24 yard line. Going deep, we got Mike Evans. Oh, missed tackle, he stayed in bounds, he's still going. 10, five, touchdown, Mike Evans, what a play. It's gonna put us up 21 to seven. And after that, score is 21 to 14. It's the second quarter. We've got five minutes left. First and 10 now at the 49. Going deep, we got Godwin. It's gonna be a big first down. Second and 16 with the 20 yard line and about two minutes left in the quarter. Gonna do run, it's gonna slide. And after a missed field goal and a defensive touchdown, we have the ball again with about 30 seconds left and running with Tyler. It's gonna be a first down. Cleveland took a timeout, play action pass. Gonna throw it to Rodgers and he's going down the sideline. We have five, four, three. Three seconds left. After that, we will get a field goal. It's the third quarter now. Got a man, got to Sean Jackson. It's gonna be a first down. Third and five now, at the 39 yard line. Play action pass. Throw it underneath to Rokowski. It's gonna be a first down. After a field goal, we're up 34 to 14. Fourth quarter now, pass to Howard. It's gonna be a first down. Really good game so far for Kyler, 24 of 27 passes. And that one's gonna be intercepted. It's gonna be the first interception of the game. After that, Tampa Bay is still up 34 to 21. We've got Deshaun Jackson here. And it's gonna be a first down. Deshaun could've kept going, but he stepped out. Kyler's running. It's gonna slide, it's gonna be a first down. Third and 14 now at the 34 yard line, and ooh, it's gonna be an incomplete pass. Second and 11 now, the score is 37 to 21. Right now we're just trying to run the ball, run the clock out, and just finish strong and get the W for the day. Play action pass, going deep, we've got a man, and it's gonna be a first down, Deshaun Jackson, what a catch. Kyler's gonna get sacked. It's gonna end up being a field goal then, cause it's fourth and nine. 
Tampa Bay is up 40 to 21. Gonna see if Cleveland can do anything on offense. They have about a minute left in the game. So they'd have to really pull out a, mi a miracle to win the game. So I think we've got it. Uh, just simming the last part of the game. And it looks like we're gonna end up winning with a score of 40 to 21. We had 445 yards passing and only 66 yards rushing. I really wanted to focus on the pass and really air the ball out, so I'm pretty happy with the results. Kyler had a great game. I threw only one interception, and the rest of the game he was on fire. Here's the stats. He had 465 yards passing, 77% completion percentage, two TDs, one pick. Rushing, he had 45 yards rushing and a TD. The running backs really couldn't get much going, so I just kept throwing the ball the whole game. Let's see, receiving... Mike Evans and Deshaun Jackson both had 128 yards receiving. Mike Evans got hurt for the game, but he'll be back next week. It wasn't a serious injury. But overall, my players had a great game. Here is Kyler's season stats. So right now, he's got 20 TDs passing, 7 interceptions, and 69% completion percentage, which is really good, especially for a rookie. He's doing phenomenal. And as long as I continue this, he could end the season with about 40 TDs and about 14 interceptions, which is just really good. He's also leading his team in rushing. And receiving, OJ Howard has the most receptions, and Deshaun Jackson has the most receiving yards. So right now, they're both really good targets for me. Mike Evans is also having a really good season. And we have Chris Godwin, too. And Adam Humphreys is able to really come in when we need a big third down conversion. So overall, he's got a lot of good targets at wide receiver and at tight end. So I'm pretty happy with the offense on that side. Rushing the ball has been pretty difficult, but everything else has been good. Here we have the weekly top players. And as you can see, Kyler has won a bunch of them. Um, it's just really good so far. Having a really good career mode. And here we have the standings, and the Bucks are currently leading their division. So thanks for checking out the video, guys. If you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button. I'll be bringing you more Madden 19 content soon. I'm going to continue this as well as do a couple other videos, so just be on the lookout for my content. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace.